Hey there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we're diving deep into the world of construction procurement methods. Stick around as we explore five main approaches, general contracting, design and build, construction management, joint ventures, and private financing. Each one has its ins and outs, and we'll be breaking them down so you can find the best fit for your projects. Whether you're part of a maintenance team or an operations team, you'll come away with a clearer understanding of these procurement methods. Let's dive in and explore each one of these. First up, we have general contracting. This is the traditional approach most construction firms take today. Here, a company or individual provides a design, and the contractor then brings that design to life. If the design is completed before construction begins, this method can offer a clear division of duties and budget. However, general contracting isn't without its drawbacks. The main disadvantage is a split division of responsibility and accountability, which can lead to disagreements about who is responsible for any issues that arise later. But on the bright side, general contractors who invest in preventive maintenance can deliver higher quality work at lower costs. Next, we have the design and build method. In this approach, the contractor assumes all responsibilities, risks, and management of both the design and build phases. This usually requires the contractor to have a large internal staff with an excellent facility management team to handle all aspects of the design and build. Alternatively, a company with a strong and coordinated partnership with other contractors can also get the job done. Moving on, let's talk about construction management. This method is ideal for developers who specialize in larger, complex projects and have internal management resources. In this system, developers subcontract every aspect of the project to the lowest and most qualified bidder. While this can be a very time-consuming and complex process, companies can save money by making each component as competitive as possible, while also maintaining complete control over the process. However, this method does require a sophisticated supply chain management process. The fourth method is establishing a joint venture. This is similar to construction management, but the main control and accountability are not in the hands of the client. Instead, they lie with the joint venture management team. An effective joint venture works to break down barriers and eliminate blame between the participating members, refocusing all energy on accomplishing the client's objectives. Finally, we have private financing. This method is not commonly used, but it can be attractive to clients with shaky financial backgrounds. Private financing essentially takes privately sourced funds and places all construction responsibilities on the contractor until the project is completed. Once the project is done, it is then transferred to the client. So, how do you choose the right procurement method for your construction project? It all depends on the resources, budget, and timeline you have available. By balancing all these components, you can select the procurement method that makes the most sense for your organization. Remember, the right choice can make all the difference in the success of your project. And that wraps up our overview of construction procurement methods. Thank you for joining us today. We've explored general contracting, design and build, construction management, joint ventures, and private financing. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For further details, please visit our website at upkeep.com. Your support helps us continue to provide these resources to help maintenance and reliability teams be more successful. Until next time, keep learning and improving.